Ah. Maar als ik gewoon is met. Thinks it's okay. For him to kind of grope me. So we were all standing, right? And then. When we were standing there. Because the bus is packed. And the bus makes a hard stop. But like, I grab to the bar and everything. This grown ass man does not grab onto anything. Fucking gropes me. And I'm just like, yo, like, what the fuck? Like, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> like, this is not even funny. Like, and he's like, oh, I'm so sorry. And I'm just like, whatever. Like, it would, like, this always happens. Like, it doesn't matter, right? It happens three fucking times. And I we stop. And the first thing I see available, I'm sitting there. I was just like, no, fuck this. Mm -mm. I'm dealing with this shit. This isn't even the first time. Alright. So, I usually go up to the weekend, so you know, like back home. And on my way back, I usually take a train. Um, cause, <laughs> yep, I still have a car. And, I'm on a train. Open car. Like, there's like, at least like, 18 seats that carries two people at a time. And usually the ones like in the beginning face each other and all the rest like are individual. So tell me why this man out of all these open seats decides to sit where I am sitting. Now I was like, you know what? Me personally, benefit of the doubt, I, I'm not I'm not gonna worry about it. So you know, I'm like, alright, he's sitting with me. But the way he sat the way is that I'm telling you, okay, okay, like I'm gonna show you. I'm sitting like this, you know, like that. And he decides to sit across from me and move my leg like that. They just shove my leg when he's sitting down, like, ugh. And I'm just like, I'm sorry. Who raised you? Cause your mom must have taught you manners. Like, you can you not be like, um, excuse me, I'm sorry. Like, hold up. I have not gotten high in a while. And you know what? Sue me. I think this is why I might have bought this much food. I got like a whole large fries. Fries are free. I love McDonald's. Um, um I don't need that much. Uh, I'm I weigh like 60 pounds, like that's gonna hit me like in about five seconds. Um, but yeah, he decides to sit across from me like that, and I'm like, okay, whatever, right? Here I am riding the train, He's sitting there, minding my own business, on my phone, watching videos, you know, doing what a normal person does. And on the corner of my arm, I can see him doing this. Like, hold up. Are you really looking at me like that? Like, are you really looking at me like that? But, you know, after a couple of stops, all the seats started filling up. And my lazy ass is not going to get up. Going to keep moving around the cabs, you know, try to find, like, the right train. All right, this breaker's really good. I'm not gonna fuck with my mouth, but whatever. This grown ass man staring at me. Like, how am I supposed to feel? Like, I'm like fucking like, what the fuck? I'm like, whatever. And then he does this and he's like, hey. Hey. And I'm like, you know, ignoring him. And my headphones on, pretend I'm not listening to this dude. Taps my leg. Touches my leg. And is like, hey. And I look up, I'm like, yeah, sorry. Am I doing something? Like, he's like, no, I just want to say you're beautiful. Like, you're really attractive. Did you know that? And I was like, feeling so uncomfortable. Like, this guy looks like he's like a pedophile. Like, legit. Like, an ideal pedophile. Like, I'll put a picture right here. Of what exactly he looked like. Right here. Right here. Remember to self. Right here. He looked just like that. And I was just like. 
are you fucking hitting me? I was just like, I was like, thanks. Like, I was like, you know, I'm not going to be like that rude person and be like, what the fuck? Like, I don't know. Maybe I should start being a rude person. Maybe these things will stop happening to me. Anyways, sorry. So then I'm just like, thanks, you know, just sitting there. And then he's like, have you ever thought about modeling? I could get you a good model agency and I could start up your career. Oh, hold up. How are you saying I, I can be a model? Like, stop it. Like, I know. And I'm already looking into that myself. Like, I don't need no fucking no grown ass men to tell me <laughs> if I'm going to be a model. Like, <laughs> first, let me get my college degree. <laughs> um, and I'm just like, um, thanks, but no thanks. Um, and then, like, that ended. And then he's like, hey. Hey, and I'm just like, what? I'm like, I'm not interested in being a model. I'm not interested for you taking my pictures. I am not interested in anything. He's like, but what about the porn industry? And I'm like, stop. Right there, cut that shit off. Like, how are you going to tell me that? How? So you know what? I'm just like, you know what? I got to go use the bathroom. But I got my bag. I got everything. And then I go up to, like, one of the conductors, you know, those people that walk by, they're like, take it, please, take it, please. And then I'm just like, yo. I'm like, can I talk to you, like, on the side? He's like, yeah. I'm like, that guy sitting over there, he just grabbed my leg, kept on saying that I could be a model and this and this and that. And I told him I don't feel comfortable. I even gave him that hint by not talking to him and being, like, a dry com- conversationalist. And then right now, he just asked me if I was willing to join the porn industry. Like, to me, that's just fucked up. Like, don't talk to me that way. Don't talk to anyone that way if you don't know them. Like, that is so, like, offensive to some people. Not only that, like, how are you just going to ask people that? You know, that just went through my mind. And literally at the next stop, they kick him out. He's not allowed to go in, into that train at least. So if he needs to go where he needs to go for, like, the rest of the day, he does need to take an Uber. That's what the person explained to me. And I was like, oh, okay. And, bro, that's a, those are already two instances. Like, I don't know what it is for me since moving to Chicago, but it's been getting so fucking weird. Like, a third one that happened to me last week. Um... I was just going to go, you know, practice my photography because I think I'm a photographer. But, um, so I'm right down there and it's not even that late. Like, it's like around 8 p.m. So it's not that dark. It's like, I expect all the decent people to still be out. And I was walking through Millennium Park and I just see this guy following me the whole time. So from the front end, I decided to go to the, um, the bean. Which I found out today, if you go on a snap map on Chicago, the bean is called the Cloud Gate. Now I'm really confused, and especially right now because I'm high, I feel more confused. And I just keep thinking I'm confused, and I think I already am high. And I don't know, and I, wait, where was I going with this? Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to do any editing for this video, so it's going to be uploaded right now. <laughs> um, But yeah, and then, so I decided to move from one place to another place to another place so eventually I'm like you know I'm gonna go to this bus stop and he just keeps following me around and he noticed at one point so I do deliveries for Postmates so I decided to go do a delivery I'm like you know I'm gonna go to do a delivery because then this guy would stop following me once I enter someone's apartment so I do that and then I'm traveling to this fancy Hilton hotel I don't know if it was a Hilton it probably wasn't Hilton and I walk in you know and it's super fancy, and I took one of the elevators, I have to choose a floor, like, so, like, he doesn't have no idea. I'm like, all right, the 66th floor, are you kidding me? So then he probably went to the 66th, I don't know, but I went to a different level. And then my brother just texted me, what do you want? Oh, yeah, I asked him, because, like, look at my eyebrows, they're getting really bushy, and I want to be a makeup guru, not really. Anywho, and then there's that. And like I felt really creeped out, and 
This is basically what's been happening to me lately in general, and it's really, really annoying. It's like when the cute guys do it, when the cute guys do it, it's even better. Um, <laughs> I feel so stupid. What the fuck am I saying half the time? But if you, my brother, okay, see, I I love that I can text off my MacBook, but when these notifications pop up, they pop up. But that's basically my story time. If you guys like it, let me know. I have a lot of stories. Like, five weeks into college, I have plenty of stories. But it's already 6.41. I gotta go shower and change. I got a party to go to, so wish me luck. And, yeah, bye, guys.